Hello everybody, this is JD again and I am recording another video. It's been a while since I recorded one and there's a reason for that. I wanted to see how truthful either candidate, Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump was to you the people. Well I found out none. I have a little joke I say and this is my opinion but I feel that Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton has proven a definite fact. Now remember, this is my opinion at what I see. That a moron or an idiot can either be a male or a female. It doesn't matter. It's what they do that matters. Now some of you say, oh, Trump is this, Hillary's this, etc., etc., etc. But none of you are really looking for anything else. Well, if you don't look for anything else, you're leaving yourself with nothing else to cho choose from. I'm a third choice. What's the difference between me and, let's say, Trump or Hillary Clinton? Well, take a look at what they do. Are they really concerned about you, each and every one of you? Or are they only concerned about themselves? I ask you to help me campaign, to help me donate, donate to me, and nobody's donating, so I guess you really don't want me to go around the country so you can ask me questions, so you can see what I'm about, so you can see the truth of me. I'm not afraid to stand before each and every one of you and tell you the truth. This video is a little bit about economics, which I have done over and over again. And explain to you why we have a weak economic system. First understand a service system, economic system, which we are converting to, does nothing more than move wealth around. It doesn't create wealth. It doesn't establish wealth. All it does is move money from point A to point B to point C to point D. Does not create wealth. Makes some people richer, other people poorer. Vice versa very commonly known to a lot of us as the stock market. That moves money around all the time. People go broke, people get rich, but it's still the same amount. Nothing changes. Then how do we create wealth? Well, let me use Trump as an example. Trump went to Scotland, to a little village, that their property had a certain value and that was the value of the land. Well while in Scotland he built this large golf course which he celebrated and this humongous very large hotel complex. Now that increased the value of the land. All the land around him including in the village all the land increased in value. Well, that increase in value is the creation of new wealth. But Trump didn't do it here in the United States. He did it in Scotland. His concern was to have a golf course in Scotland, not increase the economy of the United States of America. So, where is his loyalties lie? With Trump. Oh, I don't blame him. I mean, if he wants to say, I got the best golf course in Scotland because Scotland is where golf originated, that's his business. If he wants to say, I built the best golf course in the United States, that would be a different story. But he don't. But why are the reasons he didn't? I know he was trying to build a golf course off the coast somewhere around New York City, but ran into a lot of problems. So, we have to take a look and see what is and what isn't. How about Hillary Clinton? Does she care about the individual? Well, Benghazi kind of leaves us all up in the air kind of 
says, well, kind of like everybody's at blame for what happened, and that's true. I mean, wars, war, hostilities is hostilities. You go into a hostile environment, expect hostilities back in return. They were all caught off guard. But they blame it on their intelligence. Well, we had the wrong intelligence. Good escape goat as any. But the truth is, what is the honest truth? Oh, we'll never know that. So. So here we are with two people, one that has his own self-interest, the other one who we don't know if she's telling the truth or lying ever. Now these are my opinions. So what do they do it? They're belittling each other. Trump says the bad things about Hillary Clinton, and Hillary Clinton says the bad things about Donald Trump. But they're not talking to you, the people. They're not telling you about how bad our economy really is. It's getting weaker and weaker by the day. What's causing this? The loss of creation of new wealth. Every time a manufacturer of anything leaves this country, it takes with this two things, not one thing, two things. It takes jobs, of course, but it also takes away the creation of new wealth. Soon, if you have no manufacturing at all, you create no new wealth in that economy. Manufacturing could be anything from building a house, building an engine, whatever it is, taking raw materials, which has a set value, and using those raw materials to create and build objects, items, that a consumer will buy at a greater value. The difference between that set value and that greater value is the created new wealth. And when a consumer purchases that item, then though that wealth is then used to distribute among the workers and the owners of the company. And thus they have money to spend, which then becomes a service of moving money around. You cannot create wealth out of thin air. The Federal Reserve cannot create wealth. It could print up all the dollar bills it wants, but it's not going to create wealth. And as long as wealth is not created, those dollar bills are worthless. So, that has got to be a primary concern of our federal government. How can we increase creating new wealth within this nation instead of filling everybody with service render type? jobs. You got to understand that. Now the next thing you got to understand is you don't have just two candidates. The Libertarian Party's got a candidate not much better than a Republican or Democrat. Matter of fact, probably a lot worse. But that's okay. And then you have independents like me. But I alone cannot do the job. How many times have I said that? I alone cannot do the job. I'm only one vote. Well, only one. But together, you and I, each and every one of us, we can fix our nation. Do I have the know-how? Yes. Do I have the leadership ability? Yes. Many of you ask, well, why didn't I go in Congress? Why didn't I become a senator? Then I'd get well-known name and it'd be easy. Because I cannot break a promise. If I promise to be a senator for this state to that date, I can't in between that run for president because I promised the people of that state to represent them as a senator. Same thing goes with a congressman. So if I wish to run for president, I cannot break my word to the people who would have voted me congressman or senator. That's why I have not ran. I cannot break my word. Sorry. It'd be nice if I was known nationwide as the senator that is a rebel rabbi in the Senate that fights for the people and ignores the political parties and tell them to go shove it. But that would be no good. Because then once I start running and I leave the Senate, 
While I'm still in office, holding that seat, I have broken my word to each and every person from that state. I can't do that. Sorry. If I give my word, if I make a promise, promise must be kept or I got to die trying. So people, I want you to understand a little bit about economics I just gave you. That's just one part of economics and why I'm not running and holding a Senate seat or a congressman seat. And you do have a different choice other than Trump or Hillary. Can we do the job? Yes, we can. Trump can't do it alone. He may tell you he can, but he can't. No more than Hillary can do it alone. Both of them are so dictatorship orientated. I am the boss. This is the way it will go, but it's not going to happen. And that disruption is going to totally destroy everything around us. People will become more and more frustrated. People will start arguing greater. They will not trust our law enforcement forces. They will not trust each other. They will fight among themselves. Is that what we want? Or do we want to pull our nation together? Because we have some very, very deep challenges coming up. Do we want to become one as a nation? Each and every one of us part of the American dream. Each and every one of us, we the people of the Constitution of the United States of America. Is that what we want? Because that's what I stand for. I stand for each and every one of you. From the day you're born to the day you die. I'll be there for you. So I ask you to consider, check me out, see what JD space Crivo is all about. That's JD space C R I V as in Victor E A U. Just search it. See what I'm about. Check out JD. See how real JD really is. You all have a nice day and let me thank you for your time.